Well, hello all you fine people out there in YouTube land. This is the NRA man forever. I threw up a video about the injustices in uh, Connecticut that are occurring as we speak. Um, I was able to do a little digging and I got a, I've got some more details on it. Give you guys a little bit more specific idea of what's going on. Um, applications for assault weapons, certificates, or high, mag or high capacity magazine declarations had to be turned in to the Connecticut State Police by January 1st of this year pursuant to state law Public Act 13-3 as amended by Public Act 13-220. Those that failed to complete and return the applications by the given deadline had the following options presented to them in the form of letters mailed by the Connecticut State Police as pertaining to assault weapons. Option one was to render the weapon permanently inoperable. Option two was to sell the weapon to an FFL dealer. Option three, remove it from the state of Connecticut. And option four was to relinquish the weapon to a law enforcement agency. Those that failed to complete and return applications by the given deadline for large capacity magazine declarations had the following options also presented to them in the form of a letter, the same letter. Option one, well, they're the same options. Render it inoperable, sell it to a dealer, remove the magazine from, a, from the state of Connecticut, or relinquish the magazine to a law enforcement agency. For starters, registration always, no matter what, I don't care what argument you use, it always leads to confiscation. The reason why is because it creates a list of names at the government's disposal of who owns what, where they live, how they can be contacted, and if we ever get around to banning that particular weapon, well, we know where to go get it. And finally, this assault weapons misnomer is crap. Assault weapons have been banned since the 1960s, if you want to get technical, the 1986. Assault weapons, a lot of people think that they are fully automatic only. That's a lie. They are weapons that have a selective rate of fire, which means you can fire one bullet at a time on a semi-automatic setting, or you can fire a multi-round burst with one pull of the trigger, such as the military M4s, they fire three round bursts. Or full automatic, which obviously that is one pull of the trigger empties the magazine. Now the sole intent of this law was to pass public protections against the abuse of the mislabeled assault weapons. Weapons purposely mis mislabeled to mislead an ignorant public and advance an agenda of oppression and tyranny. The assault weapons banned are AR-15s, semi-auto only SKS's and AK-47's. They are not weapons of war. They are civilian legal, one pull equals one round down the barrel, rifles. They are defensive rifles. They are competition rifles. They are hunting rifles. The provisions to remove the offensive weapons and magazines from the state sends a clear-cut message to remove yourself from the state if you do not want to be part of their progressive new era. The, the provision stating that you must relinquish the weapon if that's the route you so choose to go sends a clear-cut message that they have no regard for the Constitution or the Second Amendment and that in their eyes it's invalid. In short, registration always leads to confiscation, no matter what. Ladies and gentlemen of the firearms community, it is time to get off your ass, period. I don't care if you own a gun, 
for target practice, for self-defense, a bolt action or a single shot for deer hunting, or an over-under 20 gauge for dove hunting and nothing else. When we stand divided in separate little cliques, it makes it easier for them to conquer us. We need to present a united front. We need to stand together. We need to offer our brothers and sisters in Connecticut every ounce of support we can. These gun grabbers in Connecticut, they exist in every state, in every county, or parish, and in every town in the United States of America. Do not let preconceived cultural notions fool you that, oh, I live in Texas, my guns are safe, or, oh, I live in Wyoming, my guns are safe. These people exist everywhere in the United States. And their passion, their passionate hatred of your freedom and my freedom, it doesn't end at state borders. Join the NRA. To my subscribers and firearm savvy viewers that happen to stumble across this, this video, I ask to make sure that you share this with non-firearms people. People that don't know all that much about guns to clearly explain the difference between fully automatic and the civilian legal semi-automatic only weapons that they are trying to uh, get rid of. I'm also going to be including some links down below to previous videos that cover several other topics. Uh, such as the definition of an assault weapon, the importance of the Second Amendment, and of course my get in the game video. And if you think this is an isolated incident, this whole fiasco up in Connecticut, you'd be dead wrong. In the city of New Orleans, a city located in a gun-loving state that is just as gun crazy as Texas, state of Louisiana, Mayor Ray Nagin put in place firearms confiscation efforts immediately after Hurricane Katrina. Law-abiding citizens who needed their guns more than ever to defend their property, their homes, what was left of them, and what was left of their businesses, and obviously, of course, their lives, had their guns unlawfully taken away by force. Their guns were either destroyed, locked in evidence lockers, thrown at the bottom of, a, of the Gulf of Mexico and surrounding rivers, or smashed on the street. And that's not exaggeration. Not to mention the ongoing and continual confiscation and registration efforts in several other states here in the United States, such as New York, California, Massachusetts, so on and so forth. And finally, for those who honestly feel that we are safer with fewer guns out there. Yeah, Our founding fathers wanted us to be armed for one reason. And Adolf Hitler, he summarizes that up pretty well. In 1933, he was quoted as saying, to conquer a nation, disarm its people. This is the NRA man forever saying, united we stand, divided we fall. Join the National Rifle Association now.